I can understand that people will be anxious hearing this news. We have a, a traveller, a Darwin person in their 30s who returned from overseas. They undertook quarantine in Melbourne. They then did have a couple of days uh, and they were staying with family in one of the hotspot locations in Melbourne, I understand, before they were able to get a flight, uh, Melbourne, Brisbane, Brisbane, Darwin. They arrived in Darwin on Monday, uh, starting to feel unwell uh, and were tested and those results came through last night. Uh, this individual uh, has followed all the precautions and we wish them uh, all the best. They're now in the care of Royal Darwin Hospital uh, in isolation and I want to reassure the community there has been minimal contact with the broader community. The people on the flight 836 which flew Qantas from Brisbane to Darwin on Monday, uh, the contact tracing will now be undertaken. So uh, after a significant period of time where we have uh, not had any locally diagnosed cases, uh, this is obviously important to Territorians, but we have measures in place to protect our community. These measures have been followed, uh, but we still mustn't become complacent around coronavirus. There is no cure, there is no vaccine. Uh, in terms of the Northern Territory, uh, Territorians have worked hard and we need to continue to do that. Uh, this is not a case of community transmission, is a return traveller uh, who has come out of one of those hotspots in Melbourne uh, and returned to Darwin. So I'll pass to Hugh Heggie, our Chief Health Officer, who'll provide a, a comment, and then both of us are happy to take any questions. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. So this is an important message that, um, that we do have another a case um, that's in the Territory, and a reminder to all Territorians that this has not gone away. What's important that uh, everything that we had put in place seems to have worked and uh, Territorians need to be assured that there's no risk uh, to the community. Uh, a reminder that uh, what we do uh, when it comes to our principles um, is very important. In this case, um, uh, the traveller uh, did actually have some symptoms and he contacted uh, the team to arrange a test. And that test came back positive. Uh, the person is well, mild disease, in the hospital, and the contacts are being currently tracked and traced as per a normal public health response. And it's true that he did come from um, an area in Melbourne that is defined as a hotspot, and we actually have vigilance uh, with this and um, monitoring people that come back um, and I've got to say, he did all of the right things. 